The next concept I'll talk about is polarity. So polarity is how seemingly opposite forces work in the world, and I'm going to talk about how they're really, the, the differences between them are really illusion. That there really is only one ultimate force that's at work in the world, but it kind of has split itself in two, and it works in, in different ways to really uh, help us to have an experience uh, in the physical world. So polar forces could be looked at as hot and cold, good and evil, uh, young and old, um, uh, hot and cold. Uh, let's take uh, light and dark as an example. It's only one thing light and dark. They're not really opposites. There is only light energy. See, there's either, it's either present or it's not present, in which case you have darkness. You can't go into a completely lit room and shine darkness into a room. There's no such thing as a darkness flashlight, right? Because uh, darkness is simply the absence of light energy. So there's only light energy. We look at light and dark as two polar opposites, but they're really not. There's really only one thing there. There's only light or its absence. So that's the, going forward with this section, that's what I want you to keep in mind, that things that we really see as opposites, as really warring against each other, energies that are warring against each other are really only one thing, or its, its absence. Uh, scientist uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Masaru Emoto, I believe is his name, uh, does experimentations with water crystals where um, he exposes simple water um, to energies, to vibratory energies, to emotions. And he then takes the uh, water molecules and he photographs them under high magnification to see if their structure changes depending on proximity to certain forms of consciousness like a uh, high level of joy or high level of fear or anger, things like that. And this uh, beautifully organized water molecule crystal that you see here um, formed when uh, the scientists placed water in the presence of uh, high joy and love within certain individuals. So it became ordered. And this brings us to the first polarity. Okay, the first polarity is that which brings order and is the good emotion. We only basically have two emotional polarities. Every other feeling that you could possibly feel is an extension of one of these two basic polar emotional forces at work in the world. So the first one is that which makes us feel good and it's what, that which brings order and it is the energy of love, the polarity of love. And giving a, an idea of what I mean by the love polarity, the love energy uh, going forward throughout this presentation is it, it is not these, this a Hollywood or romance novel uh, idea of love. It is the expansive force of consciousness. If you look at the images here, it's individuals that have opened themselves up to what is and are in harmony with that which is, with truth, uh, and with understanding and knowledge and light. And um, it, consciousness uh, and love is that aspect of consciousness, uh, the expansive aspect of consciousness, that which flowers and does this and opens up, opens us up to that which is. That's what love really is. Okay? It's, it's polar opposite is the opposite of the energy that makes us feel good and which brings order. This is the energy that makes us feel bad when we experience it and which brings to our experience chaos and disorder, and disarray, and pain, and suffering. And it's interesting that the scientist Emoto took water, the same water that he had just previously exposed 
uh, to, to a high vibratory energy of consciousness and love and joy. And he then exposed it to people totally in shut down consciousness, fighting amongst themselves in fear and anger and just being generally nasty to each other. And this is what the same water ended up looking like. The crystalline structure completely broke down and there was just chaos in, in, in the structure of the water. And it shows you that our emotions and what we think and what we do have an effect on the physical world. The, the external reality is a reflection of what's really going on inside of us. So this is water that's been exposed to the negative emotional polarity. And that emotional polarity is fear. Fear is the opposite polarity of love. It is the absence of love to varying degrees. And this is the force, this is the polarity that brings disorder into our experience. It brings chaos when it arrives within us. It can never create order. Love is the polarity that brings order. Fear is the polarity that brings chaos. This is the energy that shuts consciousness down. Like love does this and it opens it up, fear does this and it closes it down and it keeps it suppressed. Okay? So, these two basic emotional polarities, love and fear, are what really create everything around us, depending on how much we're in harmony with each of them. And they have each an internal manifestation and they each have an external manifestation. So love has a manifestation that happens within us and then outward in the world. And fear has a manifestation that happens within us and then outward in the world. We're going to talk about those. So we'll talk about the internal polarities next, the internally expressed polarities of fear, of love and fear. So when love reaches a crescendo or a, a highest expression within an individual, within an individual, okay? I, I have a, a term that I call this, it's a concept that as you think, so you feel internally, and so you act in the world. See, there's no, there's no separation within you, right? As you think, so you feel, so you act. And I call this concept dominion. It means that you are in rulership of, the only thing you're really allowed to be in rulership of, you're in rulership of the kingdom of self. As you think, so you feel, so you act. Th those three aspects of consciousness are in unison within you. And no one can tear them apart. No one can divide them or conquer them. People can't get you to do something that you don't feel is right. You act in a way that you say you think and feel, and then you act that way in the world. There's no contradiction within. That's the state of dominion. Its opposite is when fear runs rampant within an individual and you have opposition within the self. The consciousness is shut down. The individual does not really understand what's taking place within themselves or around them because they're, they're essentially unconscious. The opposite of conscious, consciousness being the ability to recognize patterns taking place within and outside of oneself. Uh, uh, this uh, fear uh, that runs rampant within an individual, it reaches a crescendo or it reaches a, uh, a, a final expression within an individual. And this is, what, this is the state of confusion. Confusion is the internal polarity of fear residing within an individual. An individual goes into a state of shutdown and confusion. They do not understand themselves and they do not understand the world. And often when they're in this state, they don't want to do any learning because they're operating in lower forms of consciousness. And that's not where we can really do learning and to, to get out of this mode, which it becomes like a cyclical process. The individual becomes trapped in it. So 
These two polarities, love and fear, have an external manifestation. This is extremely important to the most key concepts that I'm going to be discussing going forward in the presentation I'm going to talk about right now. When love, the, po the polar energy of love, reaches a, uh, uh, um, uh, its highest vibratory state within individuals, the community around the individuals be begins to express something. And something be is becoming born in the external world when individuals have the love energy dwelling within them. And this is the highest expression of love manifested outwardly in the outside world that we see in our experience. And that is freedom. Freedom is the highest goal of the quest for truth, of the spiritual quest. It is one and the same as the quest for the divine. And if spiritual teachers aren't really teaching that to people, I don't believe that they're doing their job because it's all about freedom and about very little else. Freedom is what the end result is all about. Okay? It is the highest expression of love in the world around us. When love is present within an individual, they are working toward true freedom. The opposite of this force, the opposite of this manifestation in the outside world, is if fear rules within the individual, the, the essence of fear rules, the individual goes into the state of confusion within. So the polar energy of fear is ruling their consciousness, it's shutting consciousness down, and then internally they're in that state of confusion. When someone is in a shut down state of consciousness and confused, the way that they then almost invariably act in the external world is the desire for control. Control is the polarity of fear that reaches its highest expression and then is born out into the external world. And it is based on the dynamic of fear. It is based on the polar vibratory energy of fear. Not strength, not power, but fear. A controller wants control because he is in fear. External control is an illusion. It does not exist anywhere in three-dimensional manifestation. It is a complete illusion that we buy into because our consciousness is shut down through fear and confusion. And this dynamic cannot ever create order in the world being based on fear. You saw what fear does to the water molecules and ultimately it creates chaos in the external world. The only way that we would be able to create order is through freedom. Impossible to do it through control because control is based in fear and fear creates chaos as we've seen. If you're going to create order in the world, the only way to ever do it is to do it by attempting to create freedom in the world because freedom is based on the polar energy of love. It is based on the dynamic of love and that is the force which brings order and peace and prosperity. Trying to create any kind of control through, any kind of order through control is only going to get you chaos. It cannot ever create order or peace.